welcome to go get it so continuing on the previous video which is based on the memory fundamental we have seen the memory interfacing and we have discussed the two level memory hierarchy now let's discuss two three problems based on the same uh, formulas whatever we have uh, derived in the previous session so uh, let's move into the question one we have here consider a two level memory system in which the access time of level 1 and level 2 memories are 10 nanosecond and 150 nanosecond respectively what is the average access time when level 1 hit ratio is 90% so uh, here if uh, nothing is mentioned so basically we always follow the default approach and we have the method uh, uh, we have the equation equals to t average is h1 h into t1 plus 1 minus h into t2 so as nothing is uh, specifically mentioned anything so we'll follow the default approach here so it's very simple uh, we'll solve the problem we have given a hit ratio of 90 percent so 90 percent means 0.9 multiplied by t1 t1 is so level 1 and level 2 memory at 10 nanosecond is t1 and 150 nanosecond is t2 so we have 10 plus this will become 0.1 and multiplied by t2. t2 is nothing but 150 nanoseconds. I hope one uh, point 0.1 has come as 1 point 1 minus 0 0.9 that will 0 0.9. So uh, multiplication will result in uh, 9 as this gives you 9 and plus this gives you 15. And totally comes as 24 nanoseconds. So this is how we solve the problem. So moving on to the second problem, uh, we have a two-level memory system here. The average access time without level one is 150 nanosecond, and with level one is 30 nanosecond. If level one access time is 20 nanosecond, then what is the hit ratio? So we have been given here t2, that is. 150 nanosecond so you can see here what it says that the average access time without level 1 is 150 nanoseconds so this is t2 and with level 1 is 30 nanoseconds and uh, t average we have been given as 30 nanosecond okay so uh, and level 1 access time is 20 nanoseconds t1 is 20 nanoseconds now t average again nothing is uh, specifically specified here uh, t average is h into t1 plus 1 minus h into t2 t average we have been given as 30 then uh, we can derive the formula as 1 minus h and uh, this will give you h into t1 plus t2 minus t2 h this comes out to be t1 minus t2 into h plus t2 T1 minus T2 gives you 150 minus 30. Uh, so 130 into H plus 150. This means 30. here. So I will get here H equals to. So this is your hit ratio. The first question answer we got. If the hit ratio is made to 100%, what will be the access time of level 1 and level 2 memory? Now, as I told before that hit ratio is nothing but the time uh, or the, it is the, uh, when processor tries to access data and if at all the data is found in the level 1 memory, then it is a hit. So hit ratio does not affect the individual memory access time. There is no relation between the level uh, memory access and the hit ratio. If at all you make the hit ratio to 100% also, that doesn't mean it will affect the level memory levels access time because access time is 
hardware level uh, factor so this is entirely independent so we can say that it ratio doesn't affect the memory level access time now if the average access time is increased by 10% then what will be the percentage change in hit ratio so you can see from the equation here that average memory access time it depends on the hit ratio so we can directly say that the, as the t average it increases that means that the data retrieval is more from bottom memories as 1 minus h1 into t2 is there so hit ratio decreases so uh, in this case it is uh, increased by 10% so uh, t average becomes 10% of 30 nanosecond that becomes 33 nanoseconds as uh, average access time is increased by 10%. So what will be the change in hit ratio? So you can directly say that 33 equals to 20 into h plus 1 minus h into 150. So solving this equation will give you h equals to 90%. So uh, previously what we derived is uh, H was 92.3 and here you can see that as the average time increased from 30 to 33 nanoseconds. So average time increases and you can see the hit ratio decreased. So dec uh, what is the percentage change is 2.3%. So that's how we can solve the third problem and uh, moving on to the third uh, question. This question, uh, I guess it was asked in one of the gate question, gate uh, examination. So we have assuming that hit is given as 0.8 in level 1 memory and in a level 2 memory system, uh, the average access time is 60 nanoseconds. Moreover, the level 1 memory is 5 times faster than level 2. So we can directly uh, derive here that T1 this is the equation we can derive and uh, the average access time is 60 nanosecond <clears throat> if the average access time is increased by 20 percent so t average initially is 60 nanosecond if it is increased by 20 percent that means t average becomes 72 nanoseconds i'm assuming that you are uh, uh, understanding about the calculations whatever i'm making to reduce the time consumption here 60 into 20 percent that gives you uh, 12 so i have added to 60 and that's how we get 72 so 72 nanosecond is the new t uh, average access time and uh, so uh, what we can do here is we have uh, initially 60 and uh, 0.8 is the hit 0.8 into t1 plus 0.2 that is 1 minus 0.8 and t2 can be calculated as 5 into t1 so uh, from the equation we can directly i am solving the equation and i am directly writing as t2 as 166.66 and t1 comes out to be as 33.33 so this is the time calculated now as we have t average new t average is 72 nanoseconds so putting it into directly into the formula we will have h into t1 plus 1 minus h into t2 so we have to find out if the average access time increased by 20%, we have already increased it to 72 nanoseconds. What is the percentage change in hit ratio? 10% increase, 20% increase, 10% decrease, 20% decrease. So definitely it's going to be decreased because it is the, the average access time as we saw in the previous problem, the average, average access time is increasing by 20%. So uh, if we make the calculation here, we have T1 as 33.33 plus uh, we have 1 minus h166.66 and solving this equation will give you 70% or 0.7 whatever you need to calculate 
so initially uh, it was 0.8 and now it is 0.7 so the decrease uh, in hit ratio is 10% decrease so c will be the right answer so uh, these, these were the basic problems which were based on the memory hierarchy and these kind of problems are definitely asked in uh, gate examination you can solve more problems you can uh, send in your queries regarding the problems if you have any doubt in any of the problem please uh, do mail us uh, at uh, at uh, gogate iit demand at gogate iit.com thanks for listening have a great day